Some people in Middle Tennessee think this is mass transit. What do you think? I have considered it. It would be nice to not depend so much on oil and reduce my carbon footprint. However, um, I don't think I would feel safe putting them on any kind of public but rover or bus or anything like that. It'd be convenient in terms of me feeling like a taxi driver all the time, but it probably wouldn't go straight to where the places we're going. It would probably take a little longer to get there. Really? Well, we believe that MTA transportation is convenient and safe and efficient, and we're just very proud that we have this wonderful uh, MTA system here in Nashville. I never really thought about uh, mass transit, local or otherwise. A uh, mass transit system probably wouldn't be convenient for my lifestyle, or actually would probably even be effective for my, for my job, where I have to go on a daily basis. We have to worry about traffic. I get there 40 minutes before I'm supposed to, and okay. it's very relaxing, and no, no have to worry about any wrecks or anything along the highway, so that's really great. Well, the reason I don't ride the bus is it isn't very convenient for me at the times I need. Um, the bus is dirty. I don't really know how much it costs. I don't know where I could be picked up. Um, it's just not convenient. I don't get stuck in traffic. Um, it's get to work on time. Really? Metro Transit buses and trains are cleaned every night, and they're safe, too. If you set 1,000 people out to travel in a car 100,000 miles, there is a 75% chance that one of them will die in an accident. There's only a 4% chance for people on the bus. According to the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority, there is less than one crime per one million rides. I'm an eighth grader at Central Magnet, and I do cross country, and my mom takes me everywhere I go. So the bus option has never really appealed to me. Really? It's easier on my parents, it's easier on me, so we don't have to change up our time schedule. Since the opening of Tennessee's first interstate highway, the population of our region has increased by nearly 1.2 million people. Over the next 25 years, we expect to welcome 1 million new citizens to our area. We either in, invest in transit or we'll have to uh, suffer the consequences, which will be more time spent in traffic, worse air pollution, remaining at a disadvantage to our peer cities who began investing in transit a decade ago. One of the reasons I chose it is to lessen my carbon footprint okay. when I do my part. There's so many cars on the road and there's this, there's this opportunity to take a train. It saves on gas, and the commute's really good. Really? Probably saving gas, you save in parking, you save in just, you know, not worrying about your car, where it is. It's always on time, it's just relaxing. Yeah, it's been really convenient. It only takes about 20 minutes to get downtown, so I love okay. it. And best of all, everyone can use it. But the two cities we compete with most directly are Charlotte and Austin. And we are literally at this point a decade behind them in transit. Portland, Oregon has a very nice mass transit system. They have a light rail train there. And um, another city I lived in was San Diego. And they also have a very nice uh, light rail train there that runs all through the day. And uh, quite a good distance from one end to the other as well. That's also important, I think. Really? See the climate controlled stations, dedicated busway onto the freeway right outside the neighborhoods. The big reason I used it in Pittsburgh was to save on parking. Downtown, parking downtown was about $15 a day and rapid transit turned out to be about $3 a day. Um, some other benefits, you save on gas, you're not putting miles on the car and you don't have to worry about, you're sitting in traffic, I guess, but you're not worried about sitting in traffic. What's next for Middle Tennessee Transit? We're very much in favor of the AMP, the BRT, Bus Rapid Transit. Uh, we think that uh, having that would kind of change uh, how we spend our weekends and evenings. So we'd probably go to restaurants in East Nashville as well. 
We only move forward by working together. I'm Howard Bradley, Robertson County Mayor. As a member of the Middle Tennessee Mayor's Caucus, we have begun to have the first tentative discussions about a dedicated funding source for mass transit throughout the Middle Tennessee region. We are very near the point where we'll have to make hard choices in terms of where revenues to support this project on an ongoing basis will come from. I think there is a consensus that we know we need a dedicated funding source that will not be subject to being repealed or abandoned from one year to the other. I think that if we were to put this to a referendum, the vast majority of Middle Tennesseans would substantively support that. But we have to agree, and we have to come and speak with a common voice as to what that combination of uh, revenue sources will be. But when we do that, we will find ourselves very much like Austin and Charlotte and Denver, where the entire regions have come together to find a regional approach to mass transit. It's the one thing that we're lacking now to make Middle Tennessee the best that it can be. Hi, I'm Kim McMillan, Mayor of Clarksville, Tennessee. And I know this subject is about mass transit. And let me tell you why mass transit is important to even cities like mine, the city of Clarksville, which is the fifth largest city in the state. It's important because sometimes mass transit is not about getting from place to place within your city, but about getting from your city to other cities. And as we continue to grow, we find it extremely important to be able to commute from our city to other cities like Nashville. So we believe mass transit is becoming an integral and important part of our whole entire budget process and look forward to looking for new ways to find new transit opportunities. I often say that you know, a great city is a city that has enough confidence to invest in itself, and our future is very bright. But we need you to join the movement. Really? Really? Really.